This is an animal cell. Buried in the cytoplasm are various organelles, among them the mitochondria, the factories that produce energy. One cell can contain several mitochondria. It is in the mitochondria that oxidation of organic material takes place, using for the purpose the oxygen in the air. The mitochondria can have different shapes, depending on the cell, elongated, ellipsoid, and others. Now, let's analyze one of them in depth. We make a transverse section of the mitochondria. And, looking through the electron microscope, we can see two membranes, an outer one and another inner one that is highly invaginated. In the invaginations are small structures that are repeated along the membrane. At the edge are other structures that join the two membranes together, represented in this diagram in red and brown. Now let's follow the oxidation of glucose in the cell. In the cytosol, glucose is transformed, giving rise to two molecules of pyruvate, in a series of reactions called glycolysis. Each pyruvic acid molecule enters the mitochondria through the structures that unite the two membranes. This is a stage in which cellular respiration begins within the mitochondria. Pyruvic acid will be degraded by reacting with water. Degradation progresses in several steps in which the oxygen of the water is used to form carbon dioxide gas using 10 atoms of hydrogen taken from the water and the pyruvic acid. During this process, energy is released. The hydrogen, and the largest part of the energy liberated, will be used to reduce four molecules of nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD, and one of flavine adenine dinucleotide, or FAD. The remaining energy will be used to synthesize one molecule of GTP from GDP and inorganic phosphate. In the first stage of degradation, the pyruvic acid reacts with acetyl coenzyme A to generate the first molecule of NADH and of carbon dioxide. Next, the acetyl radical of the acetyl coenzyme A will be degraded in a sequence of reactions known as the Krebs cycle or the tricarboxylic acid cycle. In this sequence, the molecules of water will be used to reduce three molecules of NAD and one of FAD. Besides that, it is in this cycle that a molecule of GTP is synthesized and two molecules of carbon dioxide are produced. The energy of the reducing power of NADH and FADH will now be converted into electrochemical energy, stored in a proton gradient formed across the inner membrane. This transformation is made by cytochromes, Proteins embedded in the inner membrane, here shown in detail. The electrons derived from NADH and FADH are transferred in sequence to the cytochromes and finally drained by the oxygen. In the big diagram, the protons are shown as small yellow spheres and the oxygen by blue ones. During the transfer of electrons between the cytochromes, protons are pumped from inside the mitochondria into the space between the membranes. The electrons from the NADH molecule pass through three cytochrome complexes before reducing the oxygen, producing water. The electrons from FADH only have to pass through two complexes before reducing the oxygen. 
The proton gradient forces their return to the interior of the mitochondria. They return through another protein complex, ATP synthetase. During this return, the energy derived from the proton gradient is transformed into chemical energy and used to synthesize ATP from ADP and inorganic phosphate. During this transformation and synthesis, the stalk of the ATP synthetase complex spins around its own axis, and simultaneously, the alpha and beta subunits, which look like the top of an umbrella, undergo changes in shape. The energy derived from the oxidation of NADH generates three ATPs. The FADH only generates two ATPs. Synthesized ATP leaves the mitochondria through exchange proteins inserted between the two membranes. For every molecule of ATP that leaves the mitochondria, one molecule of ADP is imported from the cytosol. Inorganic phosphate enters by way of a different carrier channel. The protein gradient, internally negative, besides promoting ATP synthesis, also directs the entrance of inorganic phosphate co-transported with the proton. The exit of ATP, which has three negative charges, and the entrance of ADP, which has only two. In actual fact, all the reactions of energy transformation, from the Krebs cycle to ATP synthesis, occur simultaneously in the mitochondria. This is boring. Yes, very dull indeed. <laughs>